You got one advanced notice warning in the Chelsea episode earlier today, which of course you've watched by now, surely. Um, here's your second advanced warning. I'm back on Twitch, 9 o'clock tonight, twitch.tv slash FM. I'm still not entirely sure what save I'm going to be doing over there. Let me know in the comments of this video what you'd like to see me do on Twitch. I'm kind of feeling Ajax. I'm also kind of feeling maybe doing non-league road to glory type thing. Let me know down in the comments. Nine o'clock tonight, twitch.tv slash FM. Obviously, if you're watching this in the future, I still stream on Twitch at that same place, I imagine, unless Twitch went away. Depends how far in the future you are. Hello and welcome to part seven of my Football Manager 2019 Bayern Munich playthrough. I'm Kev and coming up on today's episode, we try and put the pieces back together of a season that's suddenly gone a little bit wrong. We're at home against Real Madrid in the second leg of our first knockout round Champions League game plus we have a Bundesliga game away against Werder Bremen we are still top of the league I say it's gone wrong we we had a cushion but our form has just gone down the toilet you can see we were absolutely dominant for a long long time in all competitions we had a 15 game unbeaten run in the Bundesliga uh, but then all of a sudden we got to there got thumped by Freiburg then lost to Real Madrid then lost to Leipzig, that drew with Leipzig with a 94th minute equaliser, lost to Schalke, got knocked out of the German Cup by Leipzig on penalties, and all of a sudden we've not won in our last five games in all competitions. We are still top of the league by four points clear of Leipzig. Thankfully, we stole, we stole their two best players, so although they've got our number, absolutely, they're not winning consistently against everybody else. There's not a huge number of games left in the league. I'd like to think we can recapture some form and still win the Bundesliga, but... This Real Madrid game could not have come at a worse time for us when we were in the worst form we've been in all season. Although, probably the best game of the five was the first leg against Real Madrid. We went there with a counter-attacking system. We went there to just try and cancel Real Madrid out. And by and large, we did a pretty decent job of it. But we now need to actually try and win in this second leg. So we're going back to our good, our tried and tested Gagan press, which worked so well for so long. Admittedly, it did then stop working. I'm hoping it works again today. We've got Neuer in goal, a back four of Alaba, Hummels, Boateng and Kimmich with Tolisso and Thiago in midfield. Lewandowski up front, supported by Forsberg, Rodriguez and Komen. Um, we have got other options on the bench in the shape of Muller, Sanchez, Werner. We've got attacking players, Goretzka. But we do need a win. And I'm not... I'm not feeling hugely confident. Remember, we have already played Real Madrid at home this season in a pre-season friendly game. And we beat them. It was that very first episode, way back when we were still hanging out at Sports Interactive Towers. And we uh, we actually beat both Barcelona and Real Madrid in the same episode. Um, we owe Real Madrid. Um, in fact, I quite like that assertively we owe them go out and get revenge oh there you go i've motivated them i've motivated my players for a big game and um, yeah we did beat barcelona and real madrid in the same episode so we are capable of doing it but if we beat i think we beat them 2-1 last time if we beat them 2-1 now we're out of the champions league because obviously they get the away goal that we failed to get in the away leg that you didn't see so not only do we need to go and win the game we need to make sure we win it well enough to not get caught out by away goals. So, really, we've got to win by two goals. Easy peasy. I mean, look at the state of that Real Madrid team. I'm terrified. At least we've got James Rodriguez in permanently. I'm not sure if he would have been able to play previously when he was here on loan from Real. Um, but the fact that we made him permanent in January means there's absolutely no question mark about that. Of course he can play. He's our player. Um, Kimmich intercepts there. And we've got the chance to... I mean, Kimmich tries to get hold of it again I thought this was going to be our attack but actually it's going to be them attacking us isn't it it's with Gareth Bale and it scares me seeing him run at us like that Alaba massively out of position but makes a tackle I say out of position I guess he's tracking his man he's the left back against Bale on the right wing what is Kingsley Coman doing there I don't even know what he was even attempting that was awful whatever it did it injured Marcello though his opposite number on the Real Madrid team so it looks like he kicked it so hard into the advertising board that Marcello's actually injured himself laughing about it and has had to go off which I guess it's not the worst outcome in the world but we are going into half time nil nil one nil down still on aggregate knowing that we need goals in this second half we have got Timo Werner and Thomas Muller on the bench so there are goals about the place but it's finding a way to shoehorn those players into this system 
Well, I mean, that's not how you're supposed to play football manager, is it? It's time for everyone to dig in. Give me everything you've got left tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Everything you've got left. We've motivated Neuer. I mean, it would have been nice to motivate a striker or two. We're going to keep an eye on Komen because Komen's carrying a knock. Real Madrid haven't had a shot. They are just... They've parked the bus, haven't they? The monsters. Who have we got who can come on for Komen? Thomas Muller's the obvious one who comes on for Komen. Bring him on as a round oil on that right-hand side. In fact, we're going to make that change early and just get him on. There's no point having an injured Komen on there when we've got an uninjured Muller who might just have a goal in him. We'll drop Forsberg back to support so we're not too, too attacking. We don't want to be too attacking. Um, but I am looking at... Right, we're bringing Timo Werner on in a second. It's just whether he comes on for Forsberg or Lewandowski. Mm, that just feels dumb. But again, it gets it gets an attacker on the pitch whilst also keeping another goal scorer on there. Because if we win a penalty, I want Lewandowski taking it. Right, here we go. We're going to watch this free kick before deciding what to do next. Thiago, he has a good set-piece delivery. Cross comes into Muller. I thought that was the goal. That was the best chance we've had in the whole game, really. Right, we need we need another... What What's our final roll of the dice? Lewandowski's not playing well at all. Maybe that is our final roll of the dice. And then maybe we just go for more energy in midfield. Goretzka coming in there. Push on a little bit more attacking. Can Rodriguez play out on the left? I think we're going to go for a 4-2-4. We'll leave him there doing that. I kind of want them both to be pressing forwards. But that's probably... I mean, can we? Dare we? Right, maybe we do that. Why didn't you take your instruction with you? So a pressing forward and a complete forward with Muller coming in as a round oiter and Rodriguez just I mean I'm I'm partly temp I'm I'm thinking Alaba might be able to just handle that side by himself and we could potentially even put Rodriguez there still. That's probably it's asking for trouble, but we've got ten minutes to try and save our Champions League. If we end up conceding a goal down our left hand side, then so be it. We we might score a goal with all of those attacking players pushing forward. That's the wrong direction. Muller's just aimed at at the wrong goal. Neuer, big ball forward towards Toliso. There's Lewandowski. Werner picks it up next to him. Hammers is there and sticks it into the top corner against the club he still played for a month ago or was still registered to, I guess. Now what on earth do we do? Do we keep this crazy system in place? I don't. Has the change even been made? Because Werner is still hovering out on the left-hand side there. Gets an assist as well. And what a finish that is. Did it take a slight deflection? I'm not entirely sure. I think we probably need to rebuild this into a more sensible shape again. Uh, proceed with tactical changes? No. Leave it as it was. Although I would like to swap those two over. Can I do that from this screen? I don't think I can. I want, I want Werner up there. And Lewandowski can double round it. Uh, I like it. That's probably the solution we should have gone to the first time. We never got to see the weird hybrid monster shape system. But it looks like we've got we've done the absolute minimum required. We've forced extra time, I think. The game is still going on. Right. Now we continue to be assertive. So, yeah, everything you've got left. That's what we said before. It's motivated even more people. Now, can we bring on a... Did we not... I thought I was gonna say, can we bring on a fourth substitution? We we haven't even brought on a third yet. Can we bring both of these on? I oh, mean can't do that in the Champions League. Fair enough. Well Goretzka can come on and give us energy for extra time then. I get it's because the tactical change in the substitution were all tied together, weren't they? So when I cancelled the tactical change, I cancelled the substitution as well. I understand now. I am I'm nervous about the double round oiter situation we've got going on. But we're effectively playing three up front with Rodriguez in behind, aren't we? Which is tacking. It's proper Kev style. Goretzka sort of heads it away from their goal. I don't really know what he was trying to achieve there. And we've got a build again from the back with Alaba. And big ball forward. Lewandowski heads on. 
and Goretzka now picks it up in midfield. Taliso back to Goretzka. Alaba's got lots of space and we've got our three strikers all in the middle. Lewandowski, can he square it to Werner? He does! And there's our second win. 2-1 up on aggregate now and it's Timo Werner with the assist from Lewandowski who, I say his name differently every time if you noticed. I don't know how to say it. Um, but he, the cross comes in for him playing out wide on the left. He doesn't understand how his life, how his season ended up this way. He started the season as our main striker and here he is playing against Real Madrid in the Champions League as a winger, uh, but does get the assist. And now what on earth do I do? Do we go to our counter-attacking system? Bearing in mind our counter-attacking system we've been training is a flat midfield four. We can't have Muller and Lewandowski on the wings of a flat midfield four. I think we just have to keep doing what we're doing and just try and control the game. We're, we're Gagan pressing in the... 108th minute of a Champions League tie that we're ahead in. This feels like a bad idea, but we've played so well to get to this point. I just hope this is where our training comes into play. How well have we trained? Have we got enough in the tank? We have Werner with his 37th goal of the season. Obviously, most of them were for Leipzig before he arrived, but that's what you spend £66 million on in the transfer window. You go and buy the best striker in the league, and he does it for you in the Champions League as well. And Real Madrid have come here to our place. They've had three shots in the entire game. We have absolutely taken them apart. Look at that. They've not had a shot on target, and we're going to come at them again here. We're going to make it four. Imagine beating Real Madrid 4-0 when we were worried that our season was over because the form had disappeared. Goretzka to Tolisso. Back to Goretzka again. He's been a difference maker with the extra energy in midfield. Alaba to Hummels. Look at this. We're just keeping hold of the ball now. Real Madrid are done. They, they are just done. They've not had a shot on target in nearly two hours of football. Alaba with the cross. What a cross it was, but Courtois just, just long enough to get his hands onto it. But there's absolutely no one from Real forward enough to get on the ball. Hummels just nods it down to Goretzka and he's got all the time in the world. Real Madrid have got 10 minutes left to save their Champions League season and we're still the ones attacking. I don't understand. I thought it was me who doesn't do tactics. Kimmich now with a chance to cross. Can we grab number four? What a cross again. Werner hits the post. But it's Muller across to Lewandowski. That's his 25th of the season. I tell you what. I like this front four that we've got going on. With my with my roundoiters. My double roundoiter. It's revolutionary. Double roundoiter. Werner in the middle. Rodriguez in behind. I mean. The state of it. But we're 4-0 up against Real Madrid. How has it had to go to extra time? How are we, the team Gagan pressing, the team who are shattered, how are we the one who've run away with it in extra time? Surely we're not going to grab number five now. This is one of the most ridiculous Champions League ties I've ever been a part of. Hammers now. Big, big free kick towards only one man. Courtois was the only one anywhere near it. And... Five minutes left and they're time wasting now. Do they even want to be in the Champions League? They've not had a shot in the entire game. They've not adjusted their tactics at all, despite the fact they should be chasing this game at this point. I don't understand what is going on with Real Madrid right now. I am very confused. Bale, we're always afraid of him. And Cross comes in and Hummels is just there again. Is that a penalty? Boateng with the Boateng's given away a penalty. Hopefully it's too little too late. This is where we need Neuer to make a big save. Ramos to take the penalty. And Neuer went the right way, but we'll have a look from the replay behind the goal to see how close he was to actually saving it. It looked from this angle like he'd almost dived past it. And no, it was just a really, really well-placed penalty and a really awesome goalkeeper shirt that I've never noticed before. With lovely hoops on it. Um, the fitness is starting to show a little bit now. Maybe we should drop back to the counter-attacking just for these last couple of minutes. Um, but there you go. We're, we've won the game. We've won the blooming game. And we've made it through to the next round of the Champions League. What a performance that is as well. My word. That's, that's unexpected. You lot need some passion. You've done brilliantly. They have done brilliantly. That was superb. That's probably my high point of FM19 so far. When do we get the draw for the next round? I'm excited. Um, but first, I guess we'll play Werder Bremen. Or maybe not first. Maybe the draw comes first. Nobody knows. Youfin takes in. Two things. Firstly, this lad's only 14. 
I've never seen a four. Have I ever seen a fourteen-year-old? You've been taking four. His birthday is next week, but at the moment he is fourteen, and he has four and a half star potential ability. Potentially one of the best players of his generation. If we look at the rest of the youth intake, I don't know why the youth intake doesn't have my Lelujo view on, so I can have a proper look at them. Um, so if we sort that, so there's actually one who's even better. Jochen Langens is another fourteen-year-old. So. The future, the left hand side of this team has a bright future. Two potentially world class players at left back and left wing that realistically will break into the team long after I'm done with this save because they're four or five years away from being ready. But some decent youth players, if you're going to be doing a long term save with Bayern, there's some decent youth. Significant change for the Werder Bremen game, mainly because we're. I mean, it says our, con our training must be top notch. After that game, about two hours of Gagan Press in Real Madrid three days ago, there's nobody with a rating below 90. But in my head, we can't press again for an entire 90 minutes. We're away from home. We want to do something a little bit more cautious. We've got our fluid counter attack system, which has been trained all season. Our other option is park the bus. We don't want to park the bus. But. Our fluid counter-attack, I think, is probably worth pursuing. So we're going to go with this one. So it's 4-4-1-1. One, one. I don't think you've seen this one in action yet. Maybe we'll switch to it mid-game at some point. But we've got a little bit of a problem at left-back. Alaba's suspended. Um, we don't really have a backup option. So Toliso's going to drop into left-back for today. Not ideal. but I mean, he is capable of playing there. He's a competent left-back. But, I mean... Not not a very good one, but hopefully with having uh, having such a solid two banks of four, he's not going to be too overexposed. Would have been ideal to have the defensive winger on his side, but Forsberg, not so much. Um, whereas Muller, it's actually his strongest position on the right-hand side of midfield. Although, again, it's not ideal to have him there, but we don't really have anyone who can play on the right-hand side of midfield. Um, so we're going for Toliso, Hummels, Boateng and Kimmich at the back. Neuer in goal, obviously. Forsberg, Thiago, Goretzka and Muller around midfield with Rodriguez in behind Lewandowski. Timo Werner's looking at that thinking, really, what have I got to do? Do you not remember me single-handedly getting us through to the next round of the Champions League? Which, incidentally, the tie hasn't happened yet. Uh, but let's get into the game. Um, we're going to calmly say, yeah, we're... Oh, hold on. The recent form standings have... Them in, whilst we're, oh, that's interesting. I like that. So we're top of the league, but we're 13th for form. So that is... An, I like having that as a thing to go out there and say to them. Having not done team talks before, I don't know if that's new or not, but I like that as a team talk very much. And we do need to sort ourselves out. We are... Where is the league table? We need the league table back. Um, this I've noticed this happen a couple of times. I might need to put this on as a bug report. Um, when you play, when you have the league table on, but then you play a game that doesn't have a league table, like we had a knockout round, a knockout game against Real Madrid, you then come back and the league table hasn't returned. So we are still fairly comfortable in the league. Another lack of win today, and Leipzig really are going to fancy their chances for this run in, but. Hopefully, we can just soak up the pressure for long enough, conserve energy. And then um, I, my intention is, 20, 25 minutes to go, we flick back to the normal tactic, stick our press on, and if necessary, double round it up again, and just grab a late goal to try and get a win. So we want to keep it tight early on, win it at the death. Obviously, if we can grab a goal here, all the better, because then we don't have to expend the energy of trying to win the game later on. But... Weirdly, considering we're trying to do counter-attacking, we were dominating possession, although it's now evened out a little bit now, because really, with this tactic, Werder Bremen should have the majority of the ball, but in fairly unthreatening areas, we just stay behind the ball, defend when we need to, break if we get the opportunity to, but it's all about keeping things tight. Forsberg's picked up an injury there. We've got Nabry who can potentially come on to replace him. We've also got Paqueta, who can play on the left-hand side of midfield. Rodriguez has now picked up a knock as well. This isn't ideal. This is the problem with everyone everyone playing so much time the other night. They're now picking up injuries. Although Forsberg came off fairly early on. But we will we'll carry on with our... Um, I don't want to say give everything. Because, I mean, it's not Real Madrid in the Champions League, is it? Um, what was, We'll passionately say we can still win this. There you go. I like that. Um, what do we need to do here? What's up with him? Rodriguez... Lower leg injury, Forsberg, thigh injury. Uh, should we do a double change? We could go to a normal 4-4-2, which feels insane. But let's do a 4-4-2. What's the worst that can happen? 
We could do a 4 4 2 with two pressing forwards. Um, there you go, we're going to do that. And then we should probably take Forsberg off as well. Nabry is the only person who can come on. And again, it's not ideal. We're kind of playing him out of position, just like we are Muller on the other side. But 4 4 2. I never thought I'd see the day where I'm playing a counter attacking 4 4 2 in a game of football manager. This is completely uncharted territory now, and we've gone behind, so we're not going to be doing it for long. We have all the components for our double round oiter, and we're going to be switching to it very soon. We'll maybe give them five or ten minutes to find a way back into the game, but then we're going to make that final change, get set up, back on the Gagan press, and go and try and win the game. Tried to use tactics. It's failed miserably. We've only had five shots in the entire game. I feel dirty for doing it. And if they score again here, I'm disgusted with myself for letting it happen. Right, we need to make changes. We need to get this game won. Right. So how was this set up? It was, it was like that, wasn't it? There you go. Swap those two over as well. Who have we got to come on and change the game? I don't know that we need to make a change. I think we'll just do that. Nabry's not the ideal man to have in behind, really. If we're doing this, we've got Renato Sanchez and Paqueta will both be better options, but Thiago's picked up an injury now, so uh, should have rotated a little bit more maybe for this game. Swap those two back over again. And we now can't afford another injury with 25 minutes to go. A tired team who are trying to press. Lewandowski tries to find Werner, but can't. Mm, I wonder if we actually go 4-2-4. Four, four, because Nabry's better out wide. We don't really have an attacking midfielder on the pitch. Let's do that. So we're actually going to... And now I am going to play them both as pressing forwards. So what's the worst that can happen? I mean, attacking enough for you, sir. Wowzers. We should probably go adjust to actually go more attacking there. Do they not have the... Oh, there you go. Werner's grabbed a goal. I don't even know how that happened. I was looking for the buttons to adjust our mentality. Tactical change still hasn't happened yet. They've done it again. They've ruined my tactic. I think I'm going to leave the change in place. I think it was still the right change to make. But here we have pressing in action by the looks of it. What happens here? It's rolled out. It was. It was pressing in action. Werner does brilliantly. I'm going to still make the change though because I think it's probably a more sensible shape. But what I was trying to do was I was going to go attack him. But we'll leave it on positive now because... We, I mean, a draw is not a disaster. It's far from ideal. We're supposed to be trying to win the Bundesliga. This will now be, I think, four games in the league without a win. Unless we can grab a win here. We've still, there's four minutes of added on time as well. There's still time for us to win this match. I'm, I'm actually tempted to say, let's attack. For, oh, here we go. Neuer, the one time he's not actually closing down the angles at all there, but he does make the save. And there's still four minutes left, but we are defending a corner. We need to get a hold of this, get up the other end of the pitch and grab a winner. Corner comes in. Lewandowski clears, but not to a red shirt. And we're, st we're still under pressure here. Neuer gets hold of it again. This is where we need a quick break. But, of course, we're not doing the counter-attacking system anymore. Kimmich with the corner. Sanchez hovering on the edge of the area. Got time. Finds Kimmich. We've got men lining up in the middle. It's deflected off one of them. I think it's an own goal. It is an own goal. I don't care how we did it. We did it. There you go. We'll just drop back down to positive again. And let's have a look at it from the other angle. So it was Kimmich with the initial corner, which ends up... I think Sanchez played it back out to him, didn't he? And then Kimmich puts it back in the middle again. To be fair, their defender does have to do something because you've got... I think that's Lewandowski, Werner, Muller lining up in the middle there. So as a defender, you are filling your underpants at the prospect of that. You know you've got to do something. And what he did was dumb. And they conceded the goal because of it. And are we going to grab a third here? Is this what we do now? Are we the kings of late goals? Muller in behind. Again, we've got a queue of players in the middle. Cross comes in and it falls to Sanchez again. This all looks very familiar. Sanchez beats his man but can't get the cross into the right direction. Tolisso. I forgot all about Tolisso playing at left back. I've completely abandoned him by adjusting the system. But we did tweak things, turn things around and win a match. I'm going to be passionate with him again. You did well again, gents. Congratulations. We still haven't had a Champions League draw, so I guess that's going to be a surprise in tomorrow's video. I hope these aren't proper injuries. No, I can live with that. Splendid. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.